All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end-user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to Bladebridge Converter Demo. In this demo, I'll show how to convert data stage code to SQL. And when I say SQL, um, our converter is capable of converting date stage code uh, to pretty much any dialect of SQL, whether it's Snowflake or Synapse uh, or Oracle, Redshift, and, and so on. All that is controlled by e externalized configuration files. Uh, the utility is a command line executable, just like the majority of our converters. To invoke the utility, uh, I can type ds to any dot exe. This utility is distributed for Windows and for Linux operating systems. Um, the reason why it has any after after the number two is because it it is uh, capable of converting date stage code to SQL and eventually to PySpark. PySpark is currently a reserved uh, keyword uh, with one of the command line switches. Uh, the way the, the, the utility works is you provide uh, several mandatory command line switches, such as the license key that will generate um, a single date stage XML file or a folder with potentially subfolders with all date stage uh, jobs, uh, the output folder into which you want to generate the code and the type of code that you want to generate. One of the most important switches is this switch, minus U. Uh, the minus U switch allows you to specify an additional configuration file, which you can build or, uh, on the top of what Bladebridge provides out of the box, that will tell the converter how to augment the default code generation pa patterns. Um, that will allow you to structure your code in a certain way to your liking, or perhaps create some customized <clears throat> conversions um, of expressions or, or different elements of the date stage job. So as an example, I'm going to take um, a date stage job that is relatively simple, but it has several elements. It has a couple of source files. It has a joiner. And it has a couple of transforms that, that contain date stage specific syntax. For example, the if statement uh, convert function. Uh, and there's another uh, transform here again, with, with a couple of expressions, and then ultimately the data lens into, into target objects. So in order for me to run, the, uh, to run the job, I need to first extract the metadata out of the date stage. And for that, I can use, date, uh, I can use either the on-screen options within date stage or just run a command line utility to extract the metadata. The metadata has to be in the XML format. Once I extract the metadata, we will get a file that will look like this. This is a very typical data stage uh, metadata file. And then I, I can instruct the, uh, the converter to traverse the file and generate the code to, to my liking. So my command line will look like this. So I'm gonna provide the minus C option and specify my, my um, converter key. Uh, a single input file, minus M generating code in SQL, minus G is just a pointer to an internal config file, minus O is the pointer to the output uh, folder, and my output folder is currently empty, and minus U is the path to my configuration file. I'm going to generate the code first, and then I'll walk you through the configuration file to a certain degree, to a certain depth. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And we'll convert, the converter will execute and it will take just a few seconds to produce SQL file. My main SQL file is this. Uh, it, it has the same name as the source job. And if I open it up, we will see um, pure, pure SQL. Basically we, we deplatform from date stage and, and had the converter generate uh, SQL code. The way converter uh, 
works, this particular converter, is that it traverses the entire job from the start of the pipeline to the very end, and it generates staging of processing that are equivalent to each component within the pipeline. So for example, it generated uh, the, first, uh, the, the, the first temporary table, then the second temporary table, um, it, it created the joiner uh, component, which is right here. Then it moved on to the transformers and transformers have, uh, this transformer has two links. So the converter will actually generate uh, internal staging objects or temporary tables um, per link because every link may contain different logic. So for example, if I open up uh, th this transform and I compared to what the converter generated. My link 410 is this. Okay, so the, con the converter took into account the constraint, the where close basically. It took into account the expression, so it converted the convert function call into translate. Um, if I look at link 10, uh, there's a conditional statement here which converted took and converted into a case statement, which is uh, compatible with the uh, SQL platform. And it continues with the pipeline producing temporary tables and at the end it will uh, get the data written into the persistent storage. Uh, now, what controls how the converter generates the code? So. Uh, different projects will have different requirements. Uh, convert, converter supports different m modes of operation. So for example, if we don't want to create temporary tables, but let's say we want to create temporary views or perhaps just create CTEs, you can tell the converter to, to do so. Remember, one of the things that we provided on the command line is this minus U option with the config file. So if I look at that config file, um, there, there are several instructions in here. So one of the instructions tells the converter that all the intermediary data sets are to be generated as tables as opposed to CTEs. The CTE option is disabled. My create table statement is specified as this. Basically, you can create your own template on how you want to uh, uh, how you want to have the converter created uh, the intermediary. Um, objects as it traverses the pipeline. There are several other things that you can specify in a converter. So for example, you can specify the comments uh, in the beginning of each uh, component. So if I go back to my script, every statement has a comment, has, has an annotation. And this annotation comes from this template. So basically there are a lot of things that you can template using our converter. One of the things you can also do is tell the converter how to uh, change up the um, date stage expressions or how to alter SQL. So for example, your date stage is currently operating on uh, Teradata and you want to convert it to Snowflake or to, to Hive, you can tell the converter by specifying a couple of other files um, how you want to convert things. So for example, our SQL level converter uh, we'll use this file, Teradata to Snowflake.json. If I open up this file, we'll see that this file contains instructions on converting Teradata syntax to Snowflake. And there's a separate um, section in the, in the, in the uh, online documentation that Bladebridge has available. The ETL expressions are controlled by this configuration file. So if I open this up, you will see that here we're handling uh, function translation. So for example, function substitution section tells the converter that whenever it encounters, let's say as integer function call, the output template will be this, or whenever it encounters the convert function call, the output template will be this. And so, so there are a lot of things that are configurable in the converter, and it is important to run the analyzer on the data stage jobs initially, uh, and the analyzer will produce 
several Excel sheets that will talk about what types of functions are um, are to be found within the code base, what type of SQL statements can be found within the code base, and so on. It will give you a lot of insights into the um, the code that is to be converted, and that will ultimately allow you to set up the configuration file to achieve higher level of automation. Uh, thanks for listening in, and that concludes our session.